Hello everyone, my name is Brian Chapanier. Today we're going to be making a monster mesh inside of GMAX and importing it into Doom 3, replacing the Keiko Demon monster. Uh, start with, you have to go to doom3world.org and download Berserker's MD5 mesh exporter for GMAX. GMAX is the free, pared down uh, version of 3D Max. Excellent program so far, from what I've seen. First thing I want to do now is come on into customize and grid and snap settings. We're going to uh, set the home grid 16 with uh, major lines every uh, every eight. And with that in place, we're going to create a geosphere inside of here and going to uh, make it an octa. And now we want to come on up to the modifiers area over here and right click turn it into an editable mesh you'll find otherwise if you watch other people's tutorials it's more specific to modeling this is just a quick quick tutorial um, what we want to do now is add an edit mesh to the modifier stack see there's an editable mesh here but then there's an edit mesh on top with that one we're going to be working with the faces and we're going to select the front, which is essentially the front of the model, as when it's brought into Doom 3, even though it says front up here. Uh, we're going to turn on the snap to angle, and we're going to detach that to an element, OK. And we're going to right click, or just normal click, and turn that around 90 degrees. Move it over here. And now this is the back of the head. What we're going to do with this is turn it around. Uh, 90 degrees as well and then we'll turn it this way 90 and we're going to shrink it down because its size doesn't matter it's just the back of the head now we'll click over here so we can move it along the XY uh, uh, well okay I'll just do it this way then and we'll come on into here click over here so we can see that full screen looks like a little smiley face or whatever that's the back of the head so it doesn't matter so much we can actually even make it smaller than that just to make sure it's out of the way and come on down, there it is. And with that, we're going to come back up to Editable Mesh, and we're going to add a UV map to this. It is now on a uh, Z axis. We're going to put it onto a Y, and we're going to come on up and make that, uh, whoops, <laughs> come back down here and make that fit. Now with that fitting in place, we're going to add Unwrap UVW. Click on Edit, and we're going to do a screen capture by pressing the screen capture on your keyboard and we are now going to do another screen capture with the mouse cursor out of the way and we're now going to go into uh, Photoshop inside Photoshop control N OK control V to paste the picture we'll zoom in on it zoom on it again just so that we can see it all and use the marquee tool letter M that's for Photoshop 5 and they have changed click on the outside of the gray box, scroll it on down so it's just on the outside of the box down here as well and we're going to image crop and we're going to resize that to a 512 down like this put a, uh, a uh, layer on and we're going to make that layer we could go letter X to go back and forth we'll make that layer red and now we'll add another layer and we'll go letter X and then to move the color over then letter N to pick the pencil tool we'll actually come back down to this one so that we can see where the wire is below click back up so we're working on that layer and click and draw out a happy face get some artistic to there we go that looks good and we'll add an eye there and we can add an eye there and we will now come back down to this one and make it full and we're going to save a copy and we will be saving it into C textures my Keiko demon my Keiko demon underscore D dot TGA save that OK and we will image size it down to 128 and save this as the ED which is the editor version, the other one being the underscore D that dis diffuse. Now we're done inside Photoshop, head back to GMAX. Inside GMAX, letter M, bring up the material editor, new, standard, uh, 
diffuse box, click on this little gray box next to it, bitmap, mykeikodemon.tga, open, and we will apply it and show it inside the viewport. And as you can see, the back of the head, which is underneath, right there, is also colored red, um, but it's still kind of tiny and there is no back of the head. So what we want to do now is click on the light over here to turn off the edit mesh, and now it's all snapped back into one solid object with all these modifiers in the stack. Just to show that it's facing the right way, right click up here, smooth highlights, there it is, it's facing the right way. Front view on that again. And uh, now we can just un right click on where it says unwrap UVW and collapse all. If it might come up with a warning if you're using this for the first time. Um, it's up to you if you want the warning to keep showing. Read the box, see what it says. Uh, now that that's done and it's an editable mesh, we can come and click off on here and we're going to come back to the create area and go to systems, bone, and we're going to create a bone by clicking and letting go and clicking again and then that last one you can just delete it because you only need the one bone. Um, with that bone in place, click on side the mesh and come on over to the modifier, add a skin to it. If your modifiers aren't showing up here, you can pick them out of the modifier list or you can come down here and make your own set by going click on that and configure modifier sets and then just drag the ones you want over into the buttons which will then appear here. And uh, with that uh, skin on, we want to come on here, we're going to add a bone, there's only one bone, select it, and <coughs> telephone's ringing. I will be ignoring it. Okay, with the phone being ignored, I will try to zoom where I was. Okay, we have the uh, mess selected and we're going to edit the envelopes of the bone, but we have to select the mesh. We're not selecting the bone itself to do the envelopes. So click that. We'll come over to this one and see if Alt W or just letter W. Yeah, letter W makes it full screen or four screens. Um, with that full screen like that, we can move the edges of the uh, envelopes out and you'll see the vertices of all these points. The vertices get turned red, which means they've now been grabbed by the bounding areas of that particular envelope. And we can click up on the front one and do the same up here, move them out. And if we do this with the view here and move it out, you'll see down in the perspective view the face and that it all becomes red. That's just showing it's all now become part of, it's all circled as it's supposed to be. So that's done. We turn off the other envelopes and click on just the mesh and come on up to Mac script and run script. No, we have to open up the Mac script listener and delete this out of here and move it down here. And now we go to run script and this is where you had to get the MD5 exporter for GMAX uh, as written by Berserker, uh, available at doom3world.org, other places as well, but I know it from doom3world.org. Throw it inside the the script folder for the GMAX and turn it on. I just spilled water on my mouse pad. And okay, so now that that's in the place, just right click here, turn it to zero. I'm going to jump it up to it. That's for Mac uh, animation export. We're not actually exporting animation, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we have to add a node. A node, I guess, is just an object. Not that familiar with it yet, but by clicking on that, it does what I need it to do. Export MD5 mesh only, and we will export and it exported successfully yay so we come into the max script listener let it do its thing which is write it all out and we can come scrolling on up and we will right click on it and copy it open up notepad paste it in notepad and we will save this as inside of my Keiko Demon we will save it as models my Keiko Demon <laughs> all files and it'll be MD5 mesh save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And it will come on up to the top here and here we're going to call it 
my Keiko daemon text and that's going to reference it inside the MTR file uh, the my Keiko daemon text so uh, we can save this by yes we will save the changes close this and we are done in GMAX we can now head on over to the C drive okay inside the C drive we have the textures folder my Keiko daemon has the two textures inside of it come on up to here we have models my Keiko daemon we have my Keiko daemon mesh MD5 mesh and uh, here's what it is and uh, there we've already changed my Keiko daemon text so everything's fine inside there we're done with that come on up to materials and here's where we have the my Keiko daemon dot MTR and this is what it says it's referencing my Keiko daemon dot ED and dot D for the diffuse map in the editor image and this is where it says my Keiko daemon text my Keiko daemon dot MTR doesn't have the text part in it but inside there's a reference for it and then this is like the title of a book and this is the contents so it's now my Keiko daemon text reading it out At the top here we have uh, the definition file and my Keiko daemon dot def inside of this we have the mesh models my Keiko daemon mb5 mesh and inherit the monster flying Keiko daemon properties to an extent it only uh, doesn't attack yet it just uh, follows you around and bumps into you and gets in the way uh, and it, the model my Keiko daemon here it's referencing up here which is telling it to look at this and create this and put it in a place where it's he's told to do that and uh, that's uh, all that you need inside. We just now just select all those materials, models, and textures. Right click, add to zip, and we will add to uh, one called my Keiko Demon GMAX. Include system hidden folders, files, save full path info, uh, add, right click, cut, head over to the Doom folder, Doom 3 folder, base. Uh, we can just right click in here, paste this, and uh, rename it to PK4. PK4. Now head on into the Doom 3 editor. We're inside the Doom 3 editor, just right click, move it on down to here. We've got my Keiko Demon, put it into its place, come inside. We'll uh, move that up and slide it over here. Move that up a bit more and uh, it's going to be looking away so that in its place we can just do a BSP and go check it out inside the game and there he is facing away from you, turn on the flashlight shine it, it comes at you it doesn't do any damage, it just sort of chases you around sort of clipping in as well but things to take care of and consider you don't put a monster this big inside of a room this small and uh, I don't know what the actual Keiko Demon bounding area is and that would be but uh, there you go, uh, get out there and uh, make some stuff using the free uh, 3D Max program called GMAX. Have fun, people.